Oh, stop! <laughs> yeah, we're at 2 o'clock! Bob didn't party here. Oh, we wait until the year ends. Do we want to get this? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the first time we've seen him without the bear, we're like, I didn't recognize him. What's the same? <laughs> well, the hey. Do, yeah. do you yeah. want yeah. to... Ready? Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. I'm Lynn Pavlock, and it's my pleasure to be here today as the General Manager of Operations for Bay City Bridge Partners. Welcome to this amazing event. We are pleased that you braved the forecasted storm and joined us to celebrate the grand opening of the Liberty Bridge. After its complete modernization and rehabilitation, it's the best bridge in Bay City, right? <laughs> Woo! We are extremely proud today of the lead Bay City leadership. This innovative town is among the first in the state to proactively address its aging infrastructure, understand its funding options, and forge ahead with a public-private partnership bringing more than $150 million into the city to fix both the Liberty and the Independence Bridges. In doing so, Bay City leaders can now use money that would have been spent on these bridges to address other infrastructure issues that allow Bay City to continue to advance. We are also extremely proud of the construction team that took this bridge work on. They accepted the challenges presented by a complex structure that was highly unreliable, gutted it, and replaced it within one year. We started this project December 21st last year, one year ago. That's amazing. And they did it all during the most challenging supply chain period in history. Let's get a, give a huge round of applause for the crew. Thank you. Throughout the duration of this project, more than 80% of the crew consisted of local union workers, laborers and crafts professionals from Layuna 1098, the IBEW 692, iron workers local 25, operating engineers 324, carpenters local 706, millwrights 1102, and the painters district council 1M local 2352. Liberty Bridge truly is Bay City built. And as a member of this community myself, I am extremely proud of that. Let me just share with you a few fun facts. Our crew clocked more than 120,000 man hours of labor to make Liberty Bridge better, more reliable, with all new deck, new electronics, new and updated mechanics, the latest in bridge technology. New sidewalks, new railings, new lightings. It's a like new bridge. 1,170,000, excuse me, 1,170 loads of demolished concrete were hauled away from the demo of the old bridge. 4,500 yards of new concrete, which is 450 full ready mix trucks like the one that you see in the procession today have been poured on Liberty Bridge. 9,500 tons of large rock have been placed underwater to protect the piers and the bridge footings from scour. We are proud of the local businesses who provided their expertise, their products, and their services to rebuild Liberty Bridge and extend its life far into the future. Many of you are here today, and we thank you so very much for playing an important role in this project. We could not have done it without you. And we're proud of the community. Your passion shows us you care about Bay City, and so do we. Let's work together to continue to move Bay City forward with this new infrastructure designed to better position Bay City for growth and prosperity. Bay City Bridge Partners is here to elevate this community, and today is just the beginning. Before we lower the bascules and send the first vehicles across to benefit both the Salvation Army and the Disability Services Resource Center of Bay City, I'd like to invite our mayor, Kathleen Newsham, to the podium to share a few remarks. Kathy? 
Thank you very much. This is um, truly a um, remarkable day for the city of Bay City. Um, I've worked um, on this with my commissioners to get this project done since I think 2019. And um, there's just so much information that I have learned about bridges, not as much as our um, reporter, Caitlin French, who could probably build the next bridge if she had to. But you know, this is, um, this is my bridge. I live like three blocks away. So every time I would be out and about, I would look over here and see how it was going. I've seen some of the guys having um, a cold toddy at um, modes after work or on a rainy day, which is very cool because, you know, you guys are all local and I'm so happy that we had you all here working for us. Um, United Bridge Partners has been great to work with. Um, I know Dana Muscat's gonna say a few words, but she has really worked hard on this project as well as the upcoming project that we have. So enjoy your ride across. Um, I'll be using this bridge often. I have my transponder ready to get going when Lynn gives me the word. But I wanna thank all of you um, from the bottom of my heart for helping us with this project and seeing the fruition of all of your hard work. So thank you all. Thank you, Mayor Newsham. And now I'd like to introduce your city manager, Dana Muscat, to share a few words with us. Uh, good afternoon. On behalf of the mayor, city commission, city staff, and residents of Bay City, I would like to congratulate UBP, which is also known as Bay City Bridge Partners, and the city of Bay City on Michigan's first of its kind innovative public-private partnership will ultimately resulted in the rehabilitated Liberty Bridge. As you all know, the city was at a point where we could no longer afford to maintain our bridges. This isn't a surprise, as many federal, state, and local governments lack sufficient resources to properly rehabilitate and maintain their infrastructure. Years ago, we put out an RFP to look at ways to manage our bridge going forward, and UBP answered that call. It was a long haul to get to this point, requiring multiple layers of approval, including the Federal Highway Administration, the Michigan Department of Transportation, and other state and local authorities. There are so many people to thank for this endeavor. We just have so many people that helped out with this, including the city's legal team, which is Warner, Norcross, and Judd, and UBP's legal team, city staff, and UBP staff. Also, a huge thank you to our local labor unions, and I know you have already mentioned them, but I'm gonna do it again because it's so important to Bay City because they're local. And that was a huge concern of our commissioners, I will tell you. We had a big conversation about it was so important to our community to use local labor. Um, they have been working night and day to complete this project. So it includes Lyuna Local 1098, IBEW 692, Ironworkers Local 25, Operating Engineers 324, Carpenters Local 706, Millwrights 1102, and Painter District Council 1M Local 2352. Kudos to every single one of you for your superb work ethic, resulting in no safety incidents. So congratulations to all of you. Personally, I would like to thank our mayor and city commission. Making such a decision of this multitude is not easy. Their job was hard. I saw the struggles that they went through. They looked at every option to make this work for the residents and the businesses in the city. Ultimately, we are here with a beautiful rehab bridge that is safe for all to travel. So once again, congrats to all involved and more importantly, the city is so happy that we have Liberty Bridge back open to vehicle and pedestrian traffic. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. Well, before I became general manager, there was a small team from United Bridge Partners that came to town to learn more about your infrastructure needs. Unfortunately, due to the pending storm, they were not able to join us today. Therefore, I will share a few remarks on behalf of our delivery director, Kevin Bischel. 
He actually sent me his speech earlier today and asked if I could please deliver it and uh, since sends his congratulations to all of you as well as his um, apologies for not being able to make it, but uh, his flights were canceled. So here goes Kevin's speech. He says, we did it. We've been down a long and complicated path, but we were able to all work to get together to deliver a great bridge and a quality product. Building a bridge in 12 months is no small task, especially in Michigan weather, right? And during a pandemic. While we are looking at a finished bridge today, this project is a result of years of planning and collaboration with our city leaders and many others. As you may remember, both Liberty and Independence Bridges had experienced multiple unplanned closures. Being movable bridges, they are incredibly complex and building a movable bridge can cost up to 15 times more than a traditional bridge. And owning two of them, like the city does, is a quite a burden on the size of base, excuse me, on the size of a city such as Bay City. As a result, United Bridge Partners became interested in assisting the city to, to solve this challenge back in 2015. After UBP expressed interest in the bridges, the city's leadership, as Dana had stated, they studied all possible solutions to solve the bridge issues. They attempted to transfer the bridges to the state. They made numerous attempts, as she had said, to obtain funding from a regional, state, and federal governments all of those without success. Then your Bay City leaders sought out innovative solutions to address the viability of these bridges and the city ultimately selected Bay City Bridge Partners to finance, build, and maintain the bridges. By partnering with Bay City Bridge Partners, the city provided the community what they needed. They created union jobs for the local economy. They relieved the taxpayers from future costs for maintaining the bridges while having peace of mind that the bridges are safe and reliable. After Bay City Bridge Partners was selected, we reached an agreement with the city. We still had a lot of work to do. We spent most of 2020 working with the city to obtain state legislation for cities in Michigan to enter into public-private agreements for public bridge facilities. This legislation provides cities in Michigan another tool in their toolbox to deliver cost-effective solutions for infrastructure improvements during a time when electric vehicles are causing a reduction in gas tax funding. After legislation passed, our engineering team went to work developing plans in 2021. Our engineering team is led by Trans Systems with support from WJE and many others. They did an awesome job, worked a lot of overtime to get this complicated design complete in less than a year. And then 2022, like I said, what a busy year it was from a construction perspective. As the others here will or have told you, this bridge inv involved a lot of work to complete, especially doing so in one year. This bridge is you know, extremely long and it moves and it's over the water. So it definitely was not without its challenges. Our contracting team led by Granite Kramer Joint Venture hit the ground running about 12 months ago and hasn't stopped since. They worked many weekends and conducted many concrete pours at night. Liberty Bridge was full of surprises, but our contracting and engineering teams worked together to solve the challenges and deliver the great bridge you see today. Kevin wishes he could be here today to see everyone and personally thank you for your help completing the project. And we again thank you to our city commissioner, commissioners, our mayor, our manager, and their staff, as well as the residents for partnering with us to deliver this bridge that is critical to the economic prosperity, community connections, and quality of life here in Bay City. We look forward to working with you together as we move to Independence Bridge next. So that's Kevin's speech. I will share with him um, what a great turnout we had today. Next, I'd like to in introduce Kevin Kruger. He's the project manager from Granite Kramer Joint Venture, and he will be speaking on behalf of Ryan Clark, whom also was unable to join us due to the weather. Kevin? <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. In addition to holding these giant scissors today, um, I've been lucky over the past year to be the project manager on this job, and today um, I'm excited and let my message just be to all the workers that 
put in hours on this project, worked hard, worked safe, and didn't sacrifice on quality, thank you. On behalf of Granite Kramer Joint Venture, thank you. So, My, my final message is um, to Bay City Bridge Partners and Trans Systems, we're proud to be a part of this team, and it's pretty unbelievable that in the course of one year, we took what otherwise would have been a two-year project and we compressed it to get it done this year. So thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks, Kevin. All right, and now I'd like to call up our friends, Major Rick Ray from the Salvation Army of Bay City and Gail Fromm from the Disability Services Resource Net Network. We appreciate all you do to help the residents in our community and we uh, have presented to you a $1,000 donation to each of the charities as a thank you for being a part of the first ride for charity. Would you each like to say a few words? Well, the gift is going to be tremendous. And, you know, it's for us, for the Salvation Army, with everything we go on, going on with our food pantries, with our social services needs, it's a gap to bridge that poverty. So I just want to say thank you. And, and right now, we have a sponsor who saw my shortfall. And for the next two weeks, up until the 31st, every gift that is given to us will be doubled. And he will match. If we raise $15,000, they will match up to that $15,000. So this 1000 became 2000 today. Yay. Wonderful. Thank you very much for this donation to Disability Services Resource Center from the uh, Bay City Bridge Partners. We're excited to put this as a, an additional donation towards a new van that'll be accessible um, for using out in the community as we service our customers. Basically, we do five different program areas at Disability Services Resource Center, which is located just down the other side of the bridge um, at Woodside and Trumbull Drive. But we do adaptive sports for kids with disabilities. We also have our building of our ramps. We have camps and our summer special needs programs. We do disability awareness training. And of course, we have a loan closet of durable medical equipment. So all of these programs are gonna be serviced um, with the assistance of an additional vehicle or a different vehicle for disability services. So thank you again. All right, before we move on to why we're all here, just a few directions. We are going to cut the ribbon. Once the ribbon is cut, the tender tower will sound the horn and the bascules will lower. During the time the bascules are lowering, I ask all of you to uh, go back to your vehicles. Once the bascules are lowered, the traffic gates will be lifted and then the, tra the traffic light will turn green. Once the traffic light is green, that's when we will proceed across the bridge. All right, with further ado, without further ado, please join me and uh, Mayor Newsham into officially opening the best bridge in Bay City. Yeah, there we go. That's that thing's smarter now. Hard. 